Hello, I am Vikas. And I'm Nadir. We are researchers at Cambridge Assessment. Recently, we've been working on big data. The concept of big data evolved because of the changes in which we generate and process data. Data is being used for more innovative applications, such as analyzing what people say on social media and allowing management to become more evidence-based, fast and continuous. The price of hardware has been going down, software tools are becoming more sophisticated, and we see more and more people using information technology globally. What we are witnessing now is a new age of human relationship with data, which we call big data. And big data can also be used in education and assessment, uh, which is the very reason Nadir and I started looking into big data, isn't it? Yes, Vikas, absolutely. Thanks to big data, we have now access to more information on larger groups of individuals. This allows for a better understanding of trends and other aspects of education mm. and society as a whole. Nowadays, a huge amount of data is generated in classrooms, meaning we can apply big data, mm -hmm. uh, as an example, to predict students' performance on texts and keep long-term track of their progress, develop personalized content and teaching aids tailored to individual learners, mm -hmm. conduct computer-adaptive testing. And the best thing about big data is that it allows us to combine data from various systems to make sure students get the very best education. Yeah, uh, thank you for watching. You can find out more about Big Data on the Cambridge Assessment website.